Okay, when you're dealing with probability, one of the things that you're always going to be asked about is, are two events independent or dependent? So I've got two events, and I want to know, are they independent events or dependent events? Now, sometimes you can just look at them, and you can tell just by using common sense. But sometimes you need to look at the probability. There's a rule that says this. If the probability of A given B is equal to just the probability of A, then the events A and B are independent events, abbreviated there. So if the probability of A given B, using conditional probability, if the probability of A given B is equal to the probability of A, just A itself, then A and B are considered independent events. So if these are not equal to each other, then you would say A and B are dependent events. Let's take a look at my example uh, that I was using in a different, uh, in a different problem. Uh, let's look at the scenario. The table below shows the connection between NFL teams with a quarterback that was a first round draft pick and whether or not they made the playoffs in 2010. So I've got two events here. Our, the question says, are the events having a first round quarterback, here's one event, and making the playoffs, are they independent or dependent events? Well, I'm going to call um, having a first round quarterback event A and making the playoffs event B. So I want to check it and look at it like this. Give myself a little bit more room. And they'll say, I need to check to see if the probability of having a first round quarterback, given that you make the playoffs, is the same as just the probability of having a first round quarterback. So instead of using the letters A and B for my events, like I did up here at the top, I'm actually putting the context of the problem into my notation. So does the probability of having a first round quarterback, given that you made the playoffs, is that equal to, this is what I'm trying to figure out, is that equal to the probability of having a first round quarterback? If these two things are equal to each other, then the events having a first round QB and making the playoffs are independent events. But if these two are not equal to each other, then the two events are dependent events. Well, let's find the, find, find, uh, the two probabilities. Let's start off with the probability of having a first round quarterback given that you made the playoffs. So as soon as I see that word given or as soon as I think about given, I am only looking at the teams that made the playoffs. So given that they made the playoffs, there were 12 teams that made the playoffs, given that they made the playoffs, what is the probability they have a first round quarterback? Well, that would be eight out of 12. So here we go, this side would be eight out of 12. Well, let's look at the other side. What is the probability that you have a first round quarterback? Okay, just what is the probability that you're an NFL team and you have a first round quarterback on your team or that is, that is playing for you? Well, that means there are a total of 18 first round quarterbacks in the league that are starters and there are 32 teams altogether. So the probability of having a first round quarterback is 18 out of 32. Well, it's kind of hard to tell if these are equal to each other just by looking at the fractions. Let's change them into decimals. So 8 out of 12 is equal to 0.66 repeating, and 18 out of 32 is equal to 0.5625. Are these two things equal to each other? No, they are not equal to each other. So therefore, let me type this in, I would say something like this. Since the probabilities are different, the events having a first round QB, stretch this out, 
and uh, what was the other one? Oh, making the playoffs are dependent events. There's an example about independent and dependent events. One second.